Oh, I've been making reviews and content all day. I really need to take a break. Briximus Prime has fallen. I, Starscream, will be the new ultimate YouTuber toy reviewer. <laughs> Hello everyone, it is Briximus Prime back at it again for another Transformers action figure video and today we're going to be doing a triple review on the uh, Core Class Seekers. I didn't want to give Starscream, Skywarp, and Thundercracker their own individual reviews because they're all basically the exact same figure. So I'm just trying to like, you know, knock them all out all at once as just one big video. Taking a look at the packaging here, all of three of them have the artwork right there. Starscream and Thundercracker are exactly the same, just colored differently. But they all have the name of the character right down here. It says Legacy and Legacy Evolution, Transformers, Legacy. Here on the side of the packaging, oh, Transformers. Transformers! And then here on this side, we've got artwork of them right here. And they all almost look exactly the same with Skywarp being the only uh, variant. You go in the trash, you go in the trash, and frick! And it was only just recently that I found out that the core class figures did actually have barcodes, just they were printed here on their transformation instructions and not on the box. I'm kind of retarded. And once you scan those barcodes, just takes you to Hasbro's website. It's got a GIF. It's got a rundown of the figure where he, his origins G1. He's a seeker. His name's Skywarp. Yada yada yada. Says he's got a uh, infused teleportation ability with Energon to unleash unstable energy. Skywarp may not be too bright, but his teleportation ability is pretty sweet. Strength is an eight. Intelligence is a six. Speed is a four, and firepower is a seven. And then Thundercracker, got a, again, nice little gift, says he's a Seeker, Origin G1, yada yada yada. And it says that he fires lasers of pure energy with deadly accuracy. He believes that anything that can't fly is inferior, often regarding groundlings with null ray blasts. Strength is 7, intelligence 5, speed 9, firepower 7. And then finally we have Starscream! <laughs> Says that he's always trying to take over command from Megatron, his skills are, his strength is a 7, his intelligence is also a 7, his speed is a 9, and firepower a 10. Starscream is goaded! But anyway, that's it for these guys, so... Anyway, getting into the accessories, I guess we'll start with Starscream and Thundercracker since those required not that much explanation. Starscream and Thundercracker just come with their traditional Null Ray blasters, makes them look all complete and everything. Love how these guys look. But for some reason, Hasbro gave Skywarp this sad little tuning fork and no null rays. Apparently, if you bought his wave mates, Hot Rod and Iguanus, their, their accessories also combine with this one and they form into like some big sword thing. But that left Skywarp looking kind of helpless. They were trying to make Skywarp a little different compared to the other Seekers, but he doesn't need to be that different. He's a goth icon? To uh, compensate, I've been giving Skywarp the, the little Megatron pistol gun just because, you know, he has no accessories, so might as well give him some kind of a gun. Aside from some questionable accessory swapping, all three of these guys are basically the exact same figure, just in different colors. Also known as Hasbro's best marketing scheme ever. Take one toy, paint it in a different color, people will still buy it no matter what. I would know. All three of the Seekers share the exact same head sculpt with a nice little silver face, some red eyes, that black helmet, and the giant thrusters sticking out on the shoulders. With Starscream being the only one that has the silver paint being toned down. I don't know what it is, but for some reason the colors really just change the personalities for all three of these guys. And it just further, it further explains as to how Hasbro always repaints and is able to sell the exact same toy every single time as different characters. The Thundercracker has always kind of been my favorite of the Seekers. The reason why they call him Thundercracker is because that's the noise he makes when he's in the bathroom. <laughs> For as small as these guys are, there is still tons of tiny panel lines and mechanical detail scattered all throughout these figures. And a lot of this detail is obviously screen accurate in some way, and I do appreciate all the detail, even though these guys are so small, it feels like you're really getting your money's worth for the small price point of these figures. Again, it's really nice that Hasbro's kind of making like almost a 
like an on-budget kind of Transformers collection. And of course, you don't have to be one of those people that buys all of the Seekers that are in the team. You really can just buy one color scheme that you love and then you can just stick with the one. But it does also help when you have all three of them because don't all of them just look so good together? The only problem with this is this is like the second, third, fourth, fifth time that I've almost completed Seekers. As bro, take my money! The only problem with Seekers is once you buy one, there will always, always be another one, and no matter what series it could possibly be, there will always be another one that appeals to you. Always. Let's now go over these guys' posability. All three of them have a swivel at their head, which is a little tight and kind of hard to reach because of the, you know, the big shoulder pads here, but they, but it is doable. Hinge joints here at the wings, which do accommodate for the ball joints in the shoulders that go forward and back and can move in and out. There's also a ball joint at the elbow, which allows for 90 degrees of bend at the elbow, but this also allows for swiveling at that elbow, almost acting or simulating a bicep elbow swivel of some kind. No waist swivel. Man, what a waste of time. <laughs> Ball joint at the hips, which allows for the legs to kick forward, they can kick back, they can move outward that far. There is also a ball joint at the knees, which allows for slightly under 90 degrees of bend at the knee, and also, again, just like the bicep, there is a swivel that can also be had here at that ball joint at the knee as well. And no foot or ankle articulation. The little wing thing fins here can move and adjust around if you need extra support for their feet. But for some reason, Skywarps over here is uh, a little a little weak on this side. Almost as weak as my humor. And now getting into our comparisons with our Seeker Trio. Here they are with the Core Class Megatron. Core Class Soundwave. Core Class Shockwave. Here they are with my last Legacy Evolution Core Class figure review that I took a look at, the Nemesis Prime. And then just for fun, here they are with a MicroMasters. You can kind of tell the difference between MicroMasters and Core Class. Now with those comparisons out of the way, let's get right on into these guys' you know, transformations and into their jet modes. Now here's taking a look at all three of them in their vehicle modes. The traditional Starscream F-15, F-14, it looks really good here in this little chibi style. Again, it really has the classic Decepticon logos, the red stripes, the yellow canopy, and obviously just the classic color scheme with the blue. There is a little bit of feet kibble there at the back, but I think it's surfaceable. There's just a whole guy just under there. And yeah, this guy's got his null rays, looks very nice. This same jet mode and color scheme also looks great in blue as well. The black, the black, the black. Sorry guys, my camera shut off. Anyway, I love his black tail fins back there. And we have the yellow canopy. And, you know, just everything seems pretty nice here. So yeah. And then Skywarp here continues that black, purple, and, you know, like color scheme here. And he continues to be the goth icon that he is. I'm pretty happy with how all three of these guys have turned out. Sadly though, since he is the one without null rays, he is the one who does look the most incomplete. Their landing gear is quite the headache. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but there's just something really nice about having all three of these guys together. Probably some kind of Hasbro hypnosis thing trying to make you buy all three Seekers. Which that reminds me, I still need to buy that Thundercracker. And now for comparisons, here are all three of the Seekers along with Core Class Megatron, Core Class Soundwave, Core Class Shockwave, and then here is the Nemesis Prime, which is from my Black Repaint Addiction. I mean Collection. No, I don't have too many Seekers, what are you talking about? It's not an addiction, it's dedication. Just wrapping things up here. And like I said, the jet modes are also really satisfying. The transformation is really clever. And 
they're just so much fun to have, especially this like pocket size transformers. I don't know what it is, but they're so satisfying to have all three of them and that they don't even take up that much space on your shelf. Like this is like definitely the perfect way to collect multiple seekers because I'm like, I'm really open for them making more seeker repaints in the future, possibly even some core class cone heads. And if I had to give these guys an overall rating, I give the core class seeker mold basically a very solid like six or seven out of 10. Like they're not bad for your price. I think they are definitely really good figures, definitely worth your, you know, $10 value. But getting them as a collection is also really nice too. But that's only if you're really into the seekers enough to buy all of them. But hey, at least this is the cheapest option. So anyway, that is basically it for this review. If you guys liked it, give me a like on the video. Comment below what you guys think. Subscribe to the channel for more Transformers and action figure videos. And I'll catch you guys next time. If Starscream doesn't take over my channel by then.